Hallelujah. Amen. May you have your seats. Overcoming by the word of your testimony. So Revelation 12 verse number 11 says that. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And we always end there, but not knowing that that verse goes on to say, and they did not love their lives to the death. The word testimony, it means those who give judicial witness. So when somebody comes and stands here, bless the Lord, people of God. Uh, what, um, my name is this, this. I want to give my testimony that, that, that. They are simply giving a judicial uh, witness because it's, they are witnessing to the fact that the court of heaven gave them that verdict. Alors, ils sont des témoins judiciaires qui sont là pour prouver que la cour du ciel les a donné ces résultats. The court of heaven caused them to have that testimony because why? They, they won the case against the accuser in the court of heaven. Alors, la cour du ciel les a donné ces témoignages parce qu'ils ont gagné le combat au niveau de la cour céleste. So, it is a legal term. Alors, un thème légal. When, it, when it comes to the spiritual things, Quand ça to, les choses spirituelles, when it comes to the word of God, Quand ça la parole de when Dieu. it comes to the courts of heaven, Quand ça la cour du ciel. testimony is a legal term. Le témoignage est un thème légal. We overcame the enemy by the word of our testimony. Nous avons vaincu par les de nos témoignages. So there are many different things in the spirit realm. Alors, il y a plusieurs choses différentes dans l'oreille spirituelle that are received in the court of heaven as testimony. Qui sont reçues dans la cour du ciel comme des témoignages. There are many things that are received in that court as testimony. Il y a plusieurs choses reçues dans cette cour comme des témoignages. So, you must be able to step into that court to receive it and have your testimony. Alors, tu dois être capable d'entrer dans cette cour et recevoir ton témoignage. We need to make sure that our words devons nous rassurer que nos paroles and our prophetic words are in agreement with God's passion. The words you speak, the, 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 the prophecy you prophesy to somebody, it should be in agreement with what God is passionate about for that person. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us open to Ezekiel chapter 37. Allons à Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry and he said to me son of man can these bones live so I answered oh lord you know again he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them oh dry bones hear the word of the lord Thus says the Lord God of these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews, sinews on you and bring flesh, flesh upon you, cover you with skin, and put breath, uh, breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied. That, that was now... Ezekiel said, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and suddenly a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. Indeed, as I looked, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them over, but there was no breath in them. Also he said to me, prophesy to the breath. 
prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath came, breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceedingly great army, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They indeed say, our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. Let me first of all stop here. Hallelujah. What we are talking about, the valley of the dry bones. When Ezekiel was thrown into the valley of the dry bones, remember our topic tonight is talking about overcoming by the word of our testimony. Thrown into the valley of the dry bones. And God asked him a question. Son of man, can these bones live? Ezekiel was caught up struggling to respond, to answer this question. Why? Because he got confused with what he saw with his eyes. What he saw with his natural eyes. And what his ears were hearing in the spiritual realm. And the Bible is making it to say an exceedingly great army. So Ezekiel saw, what did he see? He saw bones that are dry, nothing on it, very dry. And then he, then he heard, he, he heard the sound of an army marching. So when God asked him, can these dry bones live? He was confused. He was caught up between his natural sense and what he is hearing in the spirit. He had to choose to agree with something. Because we, are, we, we just heard that we, for us to speak prophetic words, we must be able to agree with what God is passionate about. So in Ezekiel's case, God was passionate. He should understand that God is passionate for dry bones to live. He asked him, can these dry bones live? Can these bones live again? In all this confusion, he was confusing. What am I seeing? What am I hearing? What am I seeing? What am I hearing? And Ezekiel had to choose to agree with what his ears heard. Than what his eyes saw. He agreed with what his ears heard. What did the ears hear? The ears heard the sound of a marching army. So when he aligned or chose to agree with what his ears were hearing in the spirit realm, he began to prophesy to the dry bones. <laughs> this man started talking to dry bones in faith, believing God, because he knows what he has heard. You cannot be speaking what you don't know and what you don't hear. You just speak because you hear people talk. Hallelujah. Amen. So as Ezekiel released testimony in the courts of heaven. No, I am I'm speaking to people. I need to break it down. See, when Ezekiel spoke to the dry bones 
it is revelation is saying that we overcame by the, by the word of our testimony. The word, the word we speak. So he, when, when he prophesied to the bones, he was, of, he was speaking word of testimony. And by this word of his testimony, it means it's a judicial witness in heaven. Ça signifie que c'est un, un, un témoin judiciaire au ciel. In the, in the court of heaven. Dans la cour du ciel. So he spoke as he prophesied to the dry bones. Alors comme il a parlé, comme il a prophétisé aux eaux desséchées. He, he, he was in order was releasing. En d'autres mots. Releasing il testimony. Un témoignage. Releasing testimony. Il relâchait un témoignage. That this bones should march like that army he had. Que ces eaux là doivent marcher comme cette armée. His testimony allowed the dry bones to come together. And the breath of God came upon it. The breath of God entered into the bones. And they stood up on their feet as a mighty army that he, he had marching. Comme il avait entendu marcher. So that testimony was it came to pass. Alors ce témoignage là s'est réalisé. Hallelujah. Amen. All of this Tout ceci was based on what Ezekiel chose to testify. C'était en fonction de ce que Ezekiel avait choisi témoigner. So based on his testimony what he testified. Alors en fonction de son témoignage what he chose to testify. Ce qu'il a choisi témoigner. Because he did not testify and negative things he testify you can testify negativity positivity in the court of heaven unknowingly or knowingly positivement ou négativement dans la cour du ciel soit consciemment ou inconsciemment is somebody understanding me est-ce que quelqu'un comprend ah okay now so when uh, 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 we can we can easily look at a natural state of things you can look at natural state of things and you testify or you prophesy wrong things you can see somebody moving with bedding slippers and you prophesy that man is a poor man because of what you see in the physical meanwhile there are some people they don't, they don't bother about what they were, but they are millionaires. Billionaires. They can enter a shop and you say, ah, this one maybe he wants to ask direction to somewhere. And they buy to the, to, 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 in fact, they astonish you with the things they will buy, what they will remove from their pocket. And they are buying and eating plum. Buying and eating granite. You that will receive that small money, you will take and go and eat pizza. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you, you can see. To you now, your money has come. To that person, he has already reached to a certain level where he wants to eat, but uh, uh, things that are natural. Hallelujah. Amen. So. We can easily look at natural state of things and we prophesy wrongly to those things. We speak wrong words. That is when we simply agree with the situation. In this case of overcoming the devil, overcoming situation by the words of our testimony, when... When you now begin to agree with the situation, with the circumstance, your testimony will be according to the circumstance. So the circumstances you are going through, as a child of God, you are not supposed to agree to it. What is said, what is God passion about it. What is the word of God saying about it? 
The word of God says dry bones should live. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you, you say, no, this, can, this one, no, it can, there's nothing that can happen again to this one. It is already finished. So this word of your testimony causes you, it, it causes God to release a negative Testimony Alors, from the court. Hallelujah. Amen. So we we go through circumstances that we begin is because we are the one that prophesy those circumstances. We are the one that use our words to bring that circumstance to our life. Because we begin to speak them as we see with our naked eyes, our natural eye. So you can imagine when they say the gospel has not yet been preached, when it will be preached through the world, and then the kingdom of the, the, Jesus will come, the second coming. You see that the gospel has not been preached because even those who are in church, those who are out of church, somebody will be saying, that's how my own things are always. This is, um, I am very sick. I got up today. My back was just like this. Uh, this, this, this. I have not been, I will not, not be able to pay my light. I will not be able to pay electricity. I will not be able to eat. Uh, I don't know what the children will eat today. Everything, all our prophecy, they are negative, negative, no, no, negative, 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 negative. Oh my <laughs> God. I am sick. Je suis malade. I am sick. Je suis malade. That is how you will be on the phone and be telling everybody. Malaria kill. That's, that's, that's your own words. That's, so hear your prophecy. Uh, I did not come to church because I was sick. I could not just take off my body. So all our words, everything, you, very little we speak that is, can overcome the devil. The rest, we only help the devil to do it for on us. Because the things we say, we are only saying the things that God is not passionate about. So when we, we what what um, when what we prophesy happens, it is not because it was of God. No. God did not say somebody will die, somebody will be sick, somebody will not have, will not be in lack. God did not say all these things. So, but when you say it and it comes to pass, it's not because God is in it. No. Oh, it's not because what you said was of God. It's not of God. It, sim it simply happened because it was prophesied. And when it was prophesied, it released a testimony. When you speak it here, it releases a testimony in the court of heaven. Did I tell you that testimony means witness, judicial witness? Ah. It releases a judicial witness in the court of heaven that this is what he is saying. This is what she is saying. The judge has nothing to do than to grant it. <laughs> because that is your testimony. <laughs> Everybody understands now why some of your problems are coming to you. Because of the word of our testimony. 
You cannot overcome somebody when you are in line with the person. You cannot overcome somebody when you are agreeing with the person. The devil, Satan, the accuser is the one, is the one that is bringing all the things that we are prophesying to ourselves. And the things we are prophesying to others. Now, when we begin to align with him, how can we expect a a testimony of goodness overcoming him again in the court. And when there is no testimony, mean break, there's no breakthrough, so there's nothing to testify positively about. Hello. Today, your mind must change in the name of Jesus. Say never change your testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Say never. Be conscious of your testimony. Be conscious of the word of your testimony. Yes. Praise the Lord. Whether the testimony is right, whether the testimony is wrong testimony, that is not what matters in the court of heaven. What matters is that you have witnessed either to the devil or you have witnessed to the to, to God. So when you begin to say negative things, you are witnessing with, to the devil and you will receive just that testimony uh, as it is. <laughs> Same as you say to your family members, to your children. You are, if it's, if it's positive or neg negative testimony or words, right words or wrong words, the result of it comes. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is what many do. Many, 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 people, many people, no, many people do not understand. When it comes to the word of our testimony, we don't understand. It is not as common as we see somebody stand to testify, say, testimony time, blessing time. As you are saying that time, you are, you, you are actually a judicial witness in the court of heaven. Testimony team, take note. This is very important. Christians, take note. This is very important. By the time you are giving your testimony, you are standing in witness to God in the court of heaven that I overcome this situation, I overcome the devil by my words because that is what will cause God to release that witness Alors, and that breakthrough. breakthrough. So in most cases, Alors, plus, la des cas, we find ourselves asking how possible what is prophesied come to pass. How possible can it be? Alors, is this thing going to be possible? Alors plusieurs fois nous posons la question est-ce que cette chose que nous avons prophétisé est possible? It's very possible. C'est très possible. It depends on how you do it. Ça dépend de comment tu le fais. Hallelujah. Amen. Ezekiel had to choose. Ezekiel devait choisir. Whether to agree with his eyes. Soit de s'accorder avec ses yeux. What he observes in the natural realm. Ce qu'il observait dans l'oreille naturelle. Or with his ears. Ou avec ses oreilles. What he Head rumbling in the spirit realm. The rattling of the bones. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is your place to know to, to what to agree with. What you speak with your word, it is very, very spiritual. What testimony are you prophesying? What testimony are you prophesying? Quel témoignage est-ce que tu prophétises? Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. It says, 
And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, send, send men to spy out on the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. God was already giving the land of which I am giving. Just go and spy the land. The land that I am giving. From each tribe of their father's house shall send a man, every man, everyone a leader among them. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran according to the command of the Lord. All of the men who were heads of the children of Israel. Now, verse number 25. And they returned from spying after he sent them, 12 of them from the 12 tribes. And they, and they returned from spying out the land after 40 days. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all of the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back what word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. That's 20, 26. And then here, then they told him and said, We went to the land and where you sent us. We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey. And this is it. This is its fruit. They brought fruit from there. This is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. Hear testimony now. God is giving land to some people. The land I've given. Just go and look at the land and see how it is and come and give report. What, what, what? They come and say, when the people are too strong, the people that we saw there, they were very strong. Hear the testimony. We overcome by the word of our testimony. We are defeated by the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Now he said, the people were very strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittite, the Jebusite, and the Amorite dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanite dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. It, it, to show how fortified the Ils land is. is it then, it's, then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said. So Caleb was one of them. He now told them to be quiet. And, and said, let us go up at once and take possession. For we are well able to overcome it. Ah. Somebody say, my name is Caleb. <laughs> Caleb gave a, 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 a testimony, a word of testimony. That... that the heavens can judge and give the land. Say, let us go. Please, stop what you are saying. Let us go up and possess that land. Let us go and take over and overcome the people. Two pe Ten people went, twelve people went to spy a place. Ten people are, ten people are coming with wrong, bad Negative report. And two people come with a report, a prophecy. They are speaking what that will overcome that land. And that land is the words are speaking, they are in line. They agree with what God wanted, what God was passionate about. So there are things that God can already, God should have given to you already, but what you are saying is contrary to what God 
already proposed for you. So you cannot have it. The court of heaven judges and then the, your, your testimony is not witnessing to it. It's opposite to it. Alors il y a des choses que Dieu t'aurait donné maintenant, mais tes confessions sont négatives et contraires à cela et la cour du ciel ne peut pas t'accorder cela. He said, for we are well able to overcome it. That situation, whatever that you thought that was above you like the ten spies, I stand here like Caleb. I say to you, you are well able to overcome it in the name of Jesus. You are able to overcome it in the name of Jesus. What you could not possess because of tonight, by the word of your testimony, you possess in the name of Jesus. You possess in the name of Jesus. Have your seat. Yeah, 13. But the men who had gone up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people for they are strong. They are stronger than we. <laughs> Those people, were, they, they were serious. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, the land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. The, there we saw the giants. Hey. The, descendant, the descendants of Anak came from the giant. And we, and we were like grasshoppers in our, in our own sight. They, they saw themselves. Not, not their own side, though, in their eyes. You see yourself like you are just grasshopper. <laughs> you are grasshopper compared to the giants you saw. And so we were in their, that's how they were in their side. Now look at this. You should be careful who you relate with. There are some people that they can just kill your faith. Qui peuvent tuer votre foi. There are some people Il y a des personnes who can just kill your destiny. Qui peuvent détruire votre destiny. Discourage you about a vision. Ils peuvent te décourager concernant Are you vision. sure that it will work? Est-ce que tu es sûr que Are ça you va sure marcher? that this thing can succeed? Est-ce que tu es sûr que ces choses peuvent réussir? You must be mindful of those kind of people that are negatively gifted to bring negative words. Tu dois faire attention de ces personnes qui ont un don pour apporter des paroles négatives. To bring negative reports. Pour apporter des rapports négatifs. Their their words are so so they, they, they are so nice and you see them seemingly very true in a way that they can just discourage you about what you are planning to do. You come here and the word of God is telling you exactly what God wants for you. Immediately you leave. What somebody will now speak to you will be a negative testimony that will not bring but all the things that the devil wants to happen to happen. Alors, dès que tu quittes ici, tu vas écouter un témoignage négatif qui vont pousser à ce que ce que le diable désire pour toi s'accomplisse dans ta vie. Twelve spies are sent to Canaan. And, and when they return, ten of them, they, they gave an evil report. Someone say, I reject evil report. Say, I reject evil report. They gave, they came back with evil report upon the fact, upon the fact that they, even, they gave them transport. They actually gave them allowance because they have sent them on a mission. You come back from a mission and you write a report, very negative report. You, 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 you deserve to be fired. So they came with a bad report. A bad testimony. And only two of them gave good reports. An overcoming testimony. Somebody say an overcoming testimony. You must learn to speak an overcoming testimony. Nothing should, should, should look like it can defeat you. 
Tu ne dois pas voir avoir des possibilités devant tes yeux. Nothing, nothing. Rien. Because God is with you. He is the judge and he just wants you to He just wants you to speak so that the word of God can be true. He said we, over, we overcome. We overcome by the word of our testimony. Somebody will spend all that time insulting somebody. <laughs> you will insult your sister. Tu vas insulter ta soeur. Insult your brother. Insulter ton frère. Insult your husband useless. Insulter ton mari qu'il est inutile. That is the that's the testimony that you are you are you are witnessing in the court. Voilà les témoignages que tu es en train de donner dans la cour du ciel. And the breakthrough is that he will be very useless. Et la percée c'est qu'il sera très inutile. Because what you say should be a testimony. Parce que ce que tu déclares doit être un témoignage. Anything you are saying, you are witnessing in the courts of heaven at any time. Somebody said there's always a time to learn. So don't be guilty about anything. Instead, instead get, get the revelation of tonight and then you begin to challenge the devil, challenge every, everything, that, everything that has happened in the past that, that was out of wrong testimony Hallelujah Amen So because of those 10 spies who gave that wrong testimony Just yeah, just, just just see what this will brought upon Israel Land that was already for the people of Israel Now God said <laughs> One of the basis of your testimony, I have, I have no alternative than to render this judgment. Alors, en fonction de votre confession, de votre témoin, je n'ai pas de choix que de, de, de valider ce jugement. God said, Dieu a dit, on the basis of your testimony, sur la base de votre témoignage, I cannot alter it. Je ne peux pas euh, annuler cela. I only have to pass judgment according to it. Je dois simplement passer le jugement en fonction de ce témoignage. Look at your neighbor. Regarde à ton voisin, ta Say voisin. neighbor. Voisin, what have you been testifying? Que tu as eu à Say neighbor. Voisin, what have you been saying? Que tu as eu à dire? Because it is God has no alternative to that. God Parce only has to agree choix. to what you have been saying. Whatever you have been saying, good or dire. bad, God only answer to it. When he sits on his throne, throne and he takes the document, see it's written there. Et il Land is full of giants. We are just like grasshoppers in the face of them. On our side, in fact, when I look at myself, I'm just like a grasshopper. <laughs> God say, okay, you are a grasshopper. You become a grasshopper. Now look at what God did. God said, because of that, God said, you will, you will toil, you will wander in the wilderness for 40 years before you ever enter that land. Because of what? Somebody say what? What? See what words can do. Sometimes we are suffering because of our words. Because of our words. There's no prayer that can change that because you are still ignorant that it is you that said it. You don't know. Some of the words were spoken by our parents, our grandparents, our uncles. Sometimes as they deliver the baby, they receive the baby. The person receiving the baby speaks some stupid words. So some things we go through is not because we are supposed to go through. The accuser, the devil, is just taking advantage of our testimony. Alors c'était des choses que nous traversons le diable prend avantage de nos témoignages. And if you give a positive testimony. Et si tu donnes un témoignage positif. A testimony that is in line is that agrees with the word of God. Un témoignage qui est en accord avec la parole de Dieu. You will now overcome him. Tu vas maintenant le vaincre. Somebody say tonight. Quelqu'un dit ce soir. I must overcome. Je vais vaincre. 
Not only tonight, say from tonight. À partir de ce soir, I will overcome him over and over. Je vais le vaincre, je vais le vaincre à nouveau. Yes. So we have to be very careful, Alors very, very careful. Très, très about what we say, what we prophesy, what we testify. We must, we must be very careful. We should learn to speak what is written in the books of heaven about ourselves. Learn to speak what is written in the books of the, about yourself. Or about someone or about a nation. Because look at what these people spoke about a whole nation, Israel. Contrary to what was spoken in the books of there. And it worked negatively against the whole nation. So we should prophesy the good works, the good works uh, um, uh, 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 that God is giving us from His Word. What God has actually intended. Even if what we are seeing is not like it. Ne ressemble pas à cela. Keep saying it. Continue à le déclarer. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not about what we see in the natural. Il ne s'agit pas de ce que nous voyons naturellement. Hallelujah. Amen. So you don't go by what you see. Alors tu ne vas pas par ce que tu vois. You go by what the word of God is saying. Tu vas par ce que la parole de Dieu déclare. You go by what the so when you don't read the word of God, how can you even know what the word of God is saying? Alors quand tu ne lis même pas la parole de Dieu, comment peux-tu connaître ce que la parole de Dieu déclare? So you have to read the word of God, even if you have to read one one chapter every uh, in one week. Alors tu lis la parole de Dieu même s'il faut lire un chapitre en une semaine, il faut lire quelque chose. So we need people who can prophesy or who can testify what the Spirit of God is saying. And then they see the good even in the midst of the bad. When there is bad like this, you are still seeing good. You see everything good in the midst of everything bad. Tu vois une bonne chose même au milieu des mauvaises choses. These are faithful children of God. Voici les enfants de Dieu fidèles. Hallelujah. Amen. And they see the intent of God, what God intends to, for them to be, or for what what the word of God wants them to be. They say, Ils, I am healed. Ils voient le dessein de Dieu dans ce qu'ils doivent être. I am Je blessed. Suis guéri. Je suis béni. I am more than a conqueror. Je suis plus que vainqueur. I am. I. 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 I cannot be. I cannot be hindered. Je ne peux pas. Personne ne peut Nothing can stop me. Rien ne peut me stopper. Christ with me. Christ en moi. I can overcome. Je veux vaincre. You are only speaking things. Tu ne fais que déclarer des choses. When you, ha I have Christ, I cannot lack anything. J'ai Christ et je ne peux manquer de rien. The Lord is my shepherd. Le Seigneur est mon berger. I shall not want anything. I shall not lack anything. I shall not need anything. I have rien. everything. Even when you are not seeing anything. Même quand tu ne vois rien. That is how we release overcoming testimonies. Des témoignages de vainqueurs. That will bring breakthrough. Qui va porter la percée. Positive verdicts. Les verdicts positifs. From God. De Dieu. We overcome by the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship with us at Christ the Spring of Solution Church, Simbakyo and Day, Cameroon. Every Friday, for our prayer riot program services from 5 p.m. Central African time. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, pray without ceasing. Every Sunday, for our breakthrough services at 8 a.m. Central African Time. Nous sommes situés à Antenne Orange, Simbok Yaoundé, Cameroun.